So we went to the desk and got us a go-kart and decided to go hike <laughs> in the jungle. So uh, hopefully we see some interesting stuff. I'm hoping for parrots, sloths. Red frogs. Red frogs. And apparently there's a beach here. And there's a beach that's um, called Polo Beach. And, and it's a crazy man named Polo. Right. So there's a man named Polo who has lived on that beach his whole life since he was 13, apparently. By himself. By himself, which would make anyone eccentric, if not crazy. So anyway, apparently this guy is uh, on the beach. And if you go there and you pay him a few bucks, he'll chop down a coconut and mix some rum in there for you and give you a coconut rum especial. Plus an eccentric story, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. A well, lady. not supposed to fear him. No, she said he's perfectly benign. So we are what at best you could nominally describe as a trail. I don't know, you decide. Does this look like a trail to you? Definitely hear the ocean though. Yeah. Where do we go? This looks like the only way, doesn't it? Okay, take some bearings here so we know what we're doing. We uh, just took a curve at the big green tree. Said to stay left though. Huh? Said to stay left. Well, the trail kind of meanders this way, doesn't it? Does that look like a trail over there? You think you're still on a trail? I mean, maybe through there is a trail. Let me check it out real quick. I don't know if I'd call this a trail. This can't be a trail. This cannot be a trail, kids. Let's see what's up here. It kind of flattens out a little bit. Oh, okay. Those are thorns. Thorny. Oh. Thorny. Yeah, I got it too. Oh, I got it right across. Thorns. <laughs> Big, huge thorns. Damn vines. Damn vines. Ooh, buddy. Hi, baby. Hi, lover. What are you doing? Ah, uh, welcome to the jungle. Come on. We've got fun and games. <sighs> In the jungle. So back there, I was taking us what I thought was a trail and I absolutely got clotheslined by some vines that had some very substantial thorns and uh, they proceeded to try to saw me in half at the trunk. We were here. Yeah, we were here. I remember those. So a uh, hike update. We're walking through this forest. My wife turns to me and asks, you don't think there's any natives out here? And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, like, yeah, native people. And I said, no, I don't think so. And she says, well, good, because I don't want the whole green inferno thing to happen to us. Okay, now I'm scared. Before I was worried about snakes, maybe a fast moving sloth. 
But now, I've got a whole new worry. People chopping me up at the quarters and cooking my torso in an oven. Well, my wife has diarrhea in a bamboo cage. Why do I have diarrhea? Well, Maybe because that's what happened to the girl. First. No, they don't cook you first. How do you know? Well, if anything, they'd eat you alive like I want to do. <laughs> Green Inferno. I swear to God, if I get hit with a poison dart, I'm going to be pissed. Bent. All right, so you guys saw the path that we were on before. We didn't follow instructions very well. Although, to be fair, their instructions were very similar to the path we went on. This. We're going over that chain. This is the path we're supposed to be on. We think. No, we're sure. We're sure. So we took a uh, premature right at what appeared to be a fork. And uh, apparently we really cut through some non-explored uh, jungle. But like I told Sully, had we not gone that way, we never would have seen the red tree frogs. Oh. Oh, these are some industrious ants. Check these guys out. Hopefully they don't carry away my GoPro. You don't get shot on private land in Panama, do you? Well, if my choice is between getting captured by the Green Inferno people and a pissed off Panamanian landowner, I'm going to take the landowner every time. Okay. So, Sully and I found a nice couple uh, who own a villa here They're from Nebraska. Uh, the gentleman actually owns a convenience store, or not a convenience store, a strip mall in uh, Colorado Springs, so he's familiar with the area, so small world. Anyway, <clears throat> they showed us the path to go down to to get to Polo Beach, or North Beach, as it were. And uh, anyway, it's beautiful. Okay, we'll try to find you guys in a little bit. Yeah, and they're snorkeling down here. You have your snorkeling. Well, we didn't we bring didn't our bring snorkeling it. stuff well, with us. We didn't realize. Perfect. See you soon. See Thank you. you so much. So they're snorkeling here. Huh? They're snorkeling here. Well, we can come back tomorrow. I think we must. I think we can. So this is Polo's house behind us. We should meet Polo. Let's bump into Polo. Huh? Let's just bump into Polo. Well, maybe he's in there doing his business. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to try a coconut. Just, just have the whole experience, baby. Okay, apparently we're about to be regaled by another crazy man. Sounds like fun. Okay, bienvenidos, mi amigos en Estados Unidos. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Aquí es mi uh, uh, nuevo amigo. Yeah, Polo, Polo. Polo. He uh, lived in here for seven years. Polo, vivamos aquí 57 años. Yeah, yeah that's 73, 73. You've been here in this spot? Yeah, yeah, man. For now, with a little youth, I come here and live because I want to live to myself. In doing one live amongst nobody, that's why I'm here. Oh, good He for was you. a crazy guy for me, young. You hear about the young Polo, they give it no Polo Beach. <laughs> they give the beach near Polo Beach. Take the picture there, take a picture there. Oh, I am. <laughs> What is that? Pitrito. But what did you put on there this season? Caldo. Caldo. Consomme. Curry. Jolly powder. You got to taste the jar. You have your rice on peel down there to the sauce. <laughs> that looks delicious. For just want to put in the sauce. So we're going to try some of Polo's famous food. Yeah, yeah, man. Good.
What'd you do, bud? Uh, I didn't hurt myself. I was just stuck on the other side. It was tied. Oh, I see. And uh, at some point, I couldn't fight it. I was feeling it. So I started panicking right. and calling help right now. Oh, that's good. That's but what you do. I, I reached the, the reef right there where we could walk. I 